Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel again. And so today I just want to show you guys some update on what's happening recently. Yeah, because I made a really big decision and um, I think it's going to be epic. So what you're going to see in the next couple of seconds, don't be surprised. Yeah, so my car is engine is broken. So it's not, it's not physically broken, but I mean a mechanical problem with the piston ring. So the side of the surface slightly scratched. If I check the compression is not very good. But the car still drives. But very smoky. So that's why I made a really big decision. And uh, so I'm about to show you. Because I still have to work. I need a car to use. But instead of getting a, another normal car. So my decision is this one here. Yeah, so I'm gonna hold it for a couple seconds because, yeah, I'm also surprised by myself, you know. Uh, actually, my so I made a decision together with my wife. So she also liked the car, and uh, so instead of getting another normal daily driver, so why not just getting a yeah, just push myself and try to get something we both like, and probably in the next couple of years, so we're gonna enjoy driving more. Uh, what do you guys think? So, this one, how can I say it? Um, dream car's best mate. <laughs> I don't know if that's the proper description of what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so it's a 2018 MX-5 RF with a slightly special touch-up. So actually it's a limited version of the RF GT. So in using the quote GT. It's a six-speed manual. It has to be manual, right? Cannot get a automatic RX. I mean, automatic MX-5 to fully enjoy it. Uh, but you can see it. So it's quite special. It has a Recaro seats and a PBS wheels. Let me show you. PBS 17-inch forged wheels and a. Uh, Rainbow for piston brakes. So the back one also BBS wheels, but the uh, brake caliper is just actually the standard one. But yeah, and the manual transmission. Actually, the gearbox in this car is is really surprised me. You know, the shifting, the accuracy is really good. And it's a RF, so that's a hard top version. And so electrical hardtop, yeah, and pretty nice. Match the soul red color. So actually, I think the color looks slightly different in person. So it doesn't really show the yellowish reflection, but actually, it's just pretty red, like a I don't know how to describe so red. But it looks slightly different than the we see now on the video. That's pretty cool. So the main reason I we bought this car, so I I have to go to work. Yeah, because I cannot just. You see, my car is broken, so I don't have another alternative transportation. And also, I'm thinking because. So in the future, you're not gonna see an MX-5 like this anymore, especially the RF version with the uh, manual transmission, BBS wheels. So those things, it's getting quite rare, you know? But you can still see some soft top with the manual transmission, maybe, or even older one, and slightly cheaper. Um, but I think this one is more like a, how can I say, so it's like a Spirit R type of MX-5. So with the optional parts. So that's why we made a really quick decision and uh, decided to get it. And, uh, and I believe, so this car would serve pretty well as a daily driver for me. And because I'm thinking to fix my A86 in the next couple months, probably, I'm not sure if I should keep the turbo or do something different 
because I'm still thinking in a ITB setup, but uh, but the problem is, so if I do that way, so I have to redo the uh, LVVTA, the low volume certificate. So that would be another hassle because maybe the new regulation changed, so something slightly different. But if I keep the turbo, uh, let me show you. Because I think the turbo also got slightly issue. It's not as serious, but uh, I think the inside needs to be open to check the seals and stuff. You can see some oil yeah, around the gasket. Um, yeah, so the it's going to be cost me money. So, <laughs> so that's why I have to work hard in the next couple months or even longer time because I also spend a lot of money on this car, right? And uh, I just try to get the money back. And that's why I really need you guys' support. Yeah, it's not too difficult to click the like button. But I mean, you don't have to watch the video again, but it really helped me to potentially get uh, my video recommended by YouTube. You know, something just weird about YouTube. Sometimes you don't know why your video become viral. Just like my, I think I used to have a couple of videos getting almost 500,000 views, something like that, even more. But that's why a lot of people comments, uh, hit the like button. So that's why I need you guys help. So I'm, I don't have enough money to fix this car right now. But uh, I hope, yeah, to get the money in the next couple of months. I'm trying to save up and work harder. And I still want to show you something basic about this car because you can see so actually pretty I'm pretty happy about it for the price I paid so this car is definitely the one of the best car I had uh, apart from my Lotus Elise but this one is really interesting you can see the gear shift so this one it reminded me about the uh, S2000 shift lever so actually really accurate and short and not extremely short but still so every gear is really clear and not much movement so i like it and you can see this one has a digital digital cluster just one screen with a just want to show you so lcd screen to show you some information and touch screen with the traditional cluster. So this one is not an ND2, but it's an ND1, probably one of the last version of ND1 two liter engine. And so it cannot reach 7,500 RPM, but only 7,000 RPM right now. But I know I can later on maybe upgrade the computer and do some tuning to reach higher RPM and increase about maybe 20 horsepower but I think right now is I want to keep everything stock to make it reliable because that's my only daily driver and yeah but you can see the build quality so everything is pretty nice so the paint yeah also the sitting angle so that's why I really like Mazda you know I had a lot of Mazda before RX-8, MX-5, RX-7 I almost got a RX-7 FC before but the timing is not really good for me to get that car just uh, I'm still feeling a little bit shame at the moment but I think right now yeah I, it's good I can keep both cars and uh, working, keep working yeah and try my best to fix that car as early as possible because I don't want a car to sit too long because I can still drive the car sometime, maybe every just once a week to warm up the car. Just just make sure everything is okay. And this car is only twenty seven thousand kilometers, and uh, man, it's really good. It's really low, so I hope I can drive for another ten years without problem. 
So I'm, not, I'm not going to sell this car anymore because I've been driving so, so many cars and finally realized. So MX-5, this car like this is what I want. But uh, I still want an older car to work on. So everything in this car is still stock at the moment. And man, so I really like the Recaro seats. So this one is one of the main reasons I decided to get this car. So instead of the normal MX-5 version and hardtop, so, but let me show you. So this one's still the, it's an older two liter Sky Active two liter engine and uh, pushing about 160 brake horsepower. But I think that's enough for this car, for sure. Yeah, even if it's lower, I think the fuel efficiency and the reliability is really important for a car like this. But instead of making this car fast like the 86 Turbo, so I prefer this one, even the 1.5. You know, if this car comes with a 1.5 liter so I don't mind, you know, that that would be perfect for me because I really want a more, just better fuel, fit, uh, fuel economy. Uh, this car is not bad, so at the moment I'm driving um, probably around 7.5 to 8 liters per 100 kilometers. And this is 2018, so the price is not too bad. Uh, if you know the, maybe, I think this car, when the car was brand new, I think it was about for the special motor like this, maybe over 60,000. Probably just about 59,000 plus some on-road costs, stuff like that. But I think the, the one with the BBS, just a Recaro, slightly more expensive. But I bought this car for about 39,000, so I don't mind to tell you. But I think it's a really good deal for a car like this. Also, I'll try to film some like a driving video for the MX-5 in my spare time. I believe this car would be really nice to drive. So, because I've been driving for uh, around 200, uh, around 500 kilometers for now. Yeah, it really amazed me. So the turning, everything is pretty smooth. Yeah, no effort. Yeah, compared with this car, no power steering, no ABS, no nothing. <laughs> but just the power, but a good suspension. Every, but the handling is okay on this car. But you cannot compare with newer version. MX-5, so it's one of the best handling car, right? i just quickly show you from the rear. Yeah, I believe, yeah, you guys already seen this car online or in person. Uh, still, I think, yeah, Mazda really good on designing the cars. Yeah, compared with the other brand. Just the interior. Yeah, I think after spending so many years driving older cars, so, and this car really, I mean, I had a Lotus release before, 2020, but still the older design, the interior. Yeah, the Lotus is really good. Not gonna lie, but the MX-5 with the price tag. So this one is really good on the price and value. And if you have a chance to own one of these in the future, I highly recommend do it quick before the petrol car ends, you know. Probably in the next couple of years, it's really hard to see something like this on the road. And I have to think, what should I do about this car? And because I have two options. One is to sell everything and get a ITB version of 4G or 20V. And I'm still trying to think What's the best solution? Because actually this car, so the, the engine 4GZE, so the engine block, so exactly the same with the 16-valve uh, 4G, apart from the piston and some small parts. So I can possibly convert this to an ITB version and put a forced piston and better tuning to rip to about 9,000 RPM. Even slightly higher, but I don't want to push too much or I can fix the turbo, oil leaking, rebuild the engine. Yeah, so this one will be back on the road. 
slightly easier than swap the whole engine. But I personally still really prefer to experience something like a 4G ITB. You know, the sound is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, the turbo engine already sound really cool in this car, but I still think the ITB natural aspirate 9500 RPM, something like that. Maybe around 200 RPM, uh, 200 horsepower. I mean, brake horsepower is enough. It doesn't have to be the wheel horsepower. So that would be the ultimate goal for a car like this. See how can I do with it? Because uh, I will drive this car one last time before I store it in the garage. Um, so on Sunday, rotational. So I will be there with the car. So hopefully I can make it. If I can't, I don't know, I need to call a tow truck. But I think it should be all right because at the moment the compression is not extremely low. So still dry, but just smoky. So if you guys want to go to rotational, leave a comment below. Maybe we can, you can see my car over there in Hampton Downs. And I'm feeling really blessed to have both cars. And thank you everyone for your support and also my family. So you guys are really give me a lot of motivation to keep doing this. But yeah, so let's see. Yeah, that's everything today. And uh, so just leave a comment below. We guys prefer to get a ITB conversion or keep the turbo. Yeah, I mean, the so horsepower for me is not the most important thing anymore. So I can still enjoy driving a MX-5 with only 160 brake horsepower. They're really surprised how amazing the car handles. Also the sound is pretty good. And uh, if I decided to keep the turbo, so I need a better cooling for this car. So probably a, another vented hood because of the factory hood is really keep a lot of heat under the engine bay. So that's the thing I don't really, I think that could be the issue for the car to become like this, you know, over time, too much heat. Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching again. So see you next time in a couple of days. Good luck.